guys, on today's project, or today's video, I'm going to be fitting the tow bar. So let's go and uh, get all the bits out to the car. I've already started, I've dropped the exhaust down and taken the heat shield off. And we'll, um, we'll, we'll uh, get under the car and I can show you where you've got to bolt it up to. So, see you in a minute. Right guys, here we are underneath the car. Um, right, I've got slightly confused with the instructions, but we've worked it all out now. Basically, what you've got to actually fit the tow bars, there's a total of three pieces, which are your two brackets, which are these items here, which go either side of the legs, and then you've got your big bar, which is this beast here, and that bolts up onto it, and then your tow bar and everything bolts up onto that. Now, the problem I had was, sorry to shake you about. Oh, let's just grab one of these bars. As the bar sits up, up there like that. I don't know if you can see that very well, it's very dark. There you go. But what I was getting confused by was this section here, because obviously you've got the rear bulkhead and everything in the way. But what I figured out is that it bolts through it. So, that's not an issue now. So, what we got is we got the kit, which I've already sorted out. It consists of some bolts, uh, some tubing which go inside the legs, um, and some washers and nuts. I'll get them fitted up and just simply put it all through the hole so I'll get that fitted up and I'll be back with you shortly. Right, so that's both the um, arms connected up now. Uh, they're just loosely up there at the moment. Um, as you can see, you've got a bolt which runs through there and you have another one which runs through here. Like I said, it's just loosely done at the moment uh, because I need to get the big section up uh, and then it bolts through the whole back end of the car. Uh, but before we do all that, I have to measure and cut the slot out of the bumper to take this section here. So we do that now. That said, bolts through the bottom of the bulkhead, so that's all done. And we come round here and we've got the same again. 
both bolts, all bolts all done up, checked, the thing is absolutely solid. Um, and obviously you've got your, your section here to connect your tow bar to, which is the next thing to do, which is down here. I've already put the ball and the sockets on, they just need to be tightened up. So it's just two bolts which go through this section here and go through this section here. cables up underneath the bumper tidy them all up and there's a grommet which is up in the inside which I'll show you in a bit we'll get that all tidied up and then we can get all the um, bumper back up get the heat shield back up get the exhaust system back up and then it's up the top to do the wiring uh, so see you in a sec right so we've got it all together we've got the wires all run up into the boot so as you can see, correct, you've got your two wires. Now the grey wire, which is your 12S socket, um, I won't be wiring it up today because I haven't got a relay, uh, but I'll be doing that in a future video. So I've brought it along here, it runs up underneath the bumper, runs underneath through the actual towing hitch itself, up behind the bumper support, and it goes up into the boot via the grommet up there. So all that's left to do underneath the car now is to replace the heat shield, uh, put that all back up, put the exhaust and everything back up, uh, and then it's all done up here, uh, down here, sorry, and then um, it's back up top and we can get it all wired in. So we'll get that up and then we'll crack on with the wiring. Right, so what we've got is we've got the wires that are running in through this grommet here. And what I've done is I've just curled up the grey at the moment, uh, put some cable ties around it and just locked it down onto the floor which is set under the carpet until I get around to installing the relay and everything onto it. And what we're going to do is this is the wiring harness in the car which we've got several different colours and here is the wiring harness from the tow bar from the 12N socket which again I've got all different colours okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this all wired up now and then we'll talk through it what colours go to what wire colours in the car uh, for anyone who um, hasn't got that information and then what I'll do also is I'll, um, I'll put a detailed description of it down in the uh, in the description below so you can print that out if you need to so we'll get that done first and then we'll, uh, I'll come back to you once it's all sorted. Right, what I've done is I've temporarily wired it up. I've tested it, all systems are working. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through which wire goes where and then what I'm going to do is solder it up, uh, clean it all up, tie it all together and, uh, and then that'll be all the wiring done. So we'll start with the first one which is uh, on the uh, socket itself, so the socket colour running up, which is yellow, that's your left hand signal, that goes to your blue wire, which is this one here on the car. You then have your blue wire, again from your socket, which then goes onto your green with a yellow trace, and that one is for your fog light. We then have the white wire, which is your earth, which you just find a good earth in point. In this case, it's down there. 
Your next one is your green wire, which is this one here. That goes onto your blue wire with your red trace, and that is for your right hand signal. Your next one is your brown wire, which is this one here, and that goes onto your orange wire, which is your right hand tail light. Uh, your red wire is your next one, which is this one here, and that goes on to your green with the red trace, and that one is your stop light. And then you have your black wire, which is this one here, which goes on to your orange with your white trace, which is your left hand tail light. So all I've done is I've obviously taken uh, the, the sleeve off to expose the wire, and then the wires that are running on the loom, I've got a little tool here, which I can put the wire in and then it separates it like that. So I'll just literally put it on, pulled it open to expose the copper wire, wrapped it round, and now what I'm gonna do is put a bit of flux on each of these and then solder it into place. And then with a bit of insulation tape, we'll wrap it all up, tidy it all up. We'll check it one more time to make sure everything's working. And that's it, good to go. So uh, I'll do all that and we'll be back after, uh, after I've done all that. Insulation tape back around it all, it's all nice and tidy. Uh, so it's just a matter of putting all the panels back on and testing it again, and it's all done. All right, I'm quite lucky because I've actually got um, a light board. Indicators. Side lights. And the brake lights. Right, so that's all working. So it's just a matter of putting all the panels and everything back on. And uh, and then, yeah, taking it back off the ramp. As you can see, it's up in the air at the moment. So taking it back down off the ramp, and then uh, that, that's job done. So the next job I'm planning on doing today, which will be another video, is I'm going to convert the fluorescent lights to LED lights inside the Abbey Monza 400D which is currently underneath the cover so until then guys thanks for watching I uh, hope that was useful to somebody um, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video until then take care